हेलो एवरीवन आई शेफ संतोष मालकोटी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट चितकारा स्कूल ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी पंजाब कैंपस वेलकम यू ऑल इन द सेशन एंड इन टुडे सेशन यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट क्योरिंग व्हिच इज अ वेरी एसेंशियल एस्पेक्ट फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ शाकुत्री प्रोडक्ट्स बाय द एंड ऑफ द सेशन यू विल बी एबल टू डिफाइन क्योरिंग एक्सप्लेन द फंक्शंस ऑफ क्योरिंग and categorize the various methods of curing so let's start curing is a process of surrounding meat fish or poultry with salt the salt contains curing agents and is called curing salts curing is a method of preservation and the process dehydrates the meat and thereby preserves it curing is one of the most important thing to do when preparing meat for charcuterie as it is meant to prevent bacterial contamination curing of food means preserving food and this particularly becomes necessary in charcuterie production which is very vulnerable to bacterial contamination called botulism it is caused by a bacterium called clostridium botulinum which can thrive at temperature as low as 4 degrees celsius since ages raw or unrefined salt has been the most commonly used curing agent in food to be it pickles or cold meat in simple terms we can say that curing is treating with meat with salt so as to preserve it the functions of curing as the addition of curing mix like nitrate nitrite or tcm which is tinted curing mix helps to retain the natural color of the meat the flavorings used in curing mix helps to impart and enhance the flavor as the curing process involves usage of excess salt which creates an inhibitant environment for bacterial growth and consequently enhancing the shelf life of the cured meat this slide explains the methods of curing curing can be of three kinds dry curing wet curing and combination of wet curing and dry curing in a dry cure the cure ingredients are mixed together and packed or rubbed over the food product to coat it completely the length of time required to dry cure meats depends on their thickness lean meat 1 inch thick requires 3 to 8 hours while a whole ham needs about 45 days during a long cure the food is repeatedly turned and rubbed with the cure mix in order to maintain uniform contact it is important that the entire surface area to be coated also temperature and humidity plays a crucial role especially when curing things for more than 2 days once dry cured the food is rinsed and left to dry in cold storage for over 12 hours this helps to form a dry skin on surface also known as pellicle which is essential prior to smoking and ensures that smoke adheres to the surface this slide shows you a formula for preparing a dry curing mix for meat which comprise of salt sweetener tcm and seasoning to get a good quality cured product one needs to adhere to the quantities as given in the table a brine is a solution of salt and other curing ingredients in water the simplest way to use a brine is to immerse the meat in brine and let it soak until the cure is complete compared with dry cures brines are especially useful for poultry items which are difficult to coat evenly with a dry cure because of their shape simple brine soaking is used for small meat items in case of big pieces of meat like ham brine can be pumped or injected into the meat to make sure it penetrates evenly after injection the meat may be soaked in brine as well wet brining is faster curing process in comparison to dry curing in dry curing where the ham with bone takes almost 45 days to cure but in case of wet curing it takes 
20 to 23 days and if injected it takes only 6 to 7 days. Fresh brine should be made for each batch of cured meat. Do not reuse brines because they are diluted and contaminated with juices from first batch of meat. Once wet cured, the product is rinsed and left to dry in cold storage for over 12 hours. This helps to form pellicle which is essential prior to smoking and ensures that the smoke adheres to the surface. This slide shows you a formula for preparing a wet curing mix for meat which comprise of salt, sweetener, TCM, seasoning and water. To get a good quality cured product, one needs to adhere to the quantities as given in the table. This slide explains the various ways by which wet curing procedure can be performed. It is generally uh, can be categorized into three uh, ways. First is brine immersion, second is stitch pumping and third is artery injection. In brine soaking, the dry curing mix is dissolved in water and this liquid is called as brine or pickle and the procedure is called as immersion curing. Immersion curing is slower and the pickle solution has to be changed every 7 days to prevent any chance of spoilage. A salimeter should be used to measure the strength in the curing brine whereas in stitch pumping a long needle with multiple holes around the shaft is used. Needle is inserted into the meat and the curing solution is pumped into the product. Artery injection. In this uh, process a large needle with only one hole in it is inserted into the uh, artery and the cure solution is injected into, into the arterial system. Any type of injection curing will speed up the distribution and it will shorten the curing time. The curing time with the injection method may be as short as 24 hours and this technique is generally used for ham curing. The pickle can be pumped into the ham at the equivalent to 10% of its weight. For example, if you have a ham of 15 pound, you can insert almost 1.5 pound of pickling juice into the ham. When pumping, place the meat on the scale to determine when the proper amount of pickle has been pumped into the meat. During the curing period, the product should be kept at 36 to 40 degree Fahrenheit temperature. This slide explains about combination curing. A combination curing is a method which involves a combination of both wet as well as dry curing. Often used to cure hams, this method shortens the curing time and reduces the risk of spoilage because the process takes place inside and outside the ham. Combination curing is a very popular method as it drastically cuts down the processing time and is generally preferred by commercial units. A combination uh, curing method can be of two kinds. First, dry plus immersion. Second, artery plus immersion method. A dry plus immersion method. Uh, in this method, a dry mix uh, is rubbed onto the meat pieces in a container and the meat is left to cure for at least 24 hours. Then the container is filled with a wet curing solution and the meat is kept inside the sol solution till the meat gets cured properly. Whereas in artery plus immersion method, uh, this method is particularly used by commercial unit and this process consists of pumping meats with needle injectors with specially formulated and often patented formulas then massaging the meat in tumbler to distribute the curing solution more evenly. Using high production stitch pumping machines and a tumbler, a ham can be ready for the smoking purpose within 24 hours of time. By this we come to an end of the session and in the upcoming session you will learn about marinades and the difference between marinades, cures and brines. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.